Alrighty, so uh, we got back up into the, the ravine area where uh, we saw the two squirrels there the last time. Um, we just came through a little trail here. I can't wait to our tree. Okay. And uh, you can see a little dirt path that goes that way, kind of. Like but if you look right here, Brandon, looks like you got this one a little bit too. A nice buck scrape here. He just played around with that one. And he just played around with that little, that little tree. Well, look, there, look around all the other, like other trees. I want to see a scrape line that they do. So, oop. as I said before, squirrel hunting also gives you the opportunity to okay. scout out the area. Show the, show the uh, for yeah, I got already got that scrape. No, I well, show the when I, run. well, yeah, when I pan back that way, you can't really see the trail. But I mean, well. This is kind of where they've made it down the leaves and whatnot, but um, yeah, it's a good, good time to, uh, you know, scout. Actually, in two weeks here, we got fall turkey, and then another week after that, archery season opens up, which I'm kind of upset about. The class I was supposed to get into to take my archery course to hunt with bow was full, um, so it's another year. I'm going to be out and not be able to hunt with bow. Which sucks. What are you going to do? But we're just going to walk this trail and call it a day. Someday you see some, someday you don't. But however, we did get a get some good knowledge of a buck that's in the area. And hopefully with any luck, we'll bag him this coming season. So, with that said, we will go ahead and cut this out and call it a day. I have to work 11 o'clock tonight to 7 in the morning. FML, it sucks. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.